Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine Katrina and today I am walking you through my Sephora haul from the things that I purchased during the VIB or the Sump Spring Savings event. So if you're into fragrances, some skincare, a little body care, a little lip action, a little smell good, then you definitely want to stick around and keep watching. <music> Let's get into it. Let's get this party started. So we're gonna start off with fragrances because y'all already know I picked up some fragrances. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go in first. This is the Nest Golden Nectar fragrance. You guys, this smells like sweet, like a sweet, warm summer night. But this is such a warm and sweet fragrance. It's just the scent that if you were to walk past someone with this on, you're like, like who who is that girl? What she what she got on? You know. So definitely, um, if you want to get a sample, if you want to try it, I will highly, 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 highly recommend the Golden Nectar um, scent by Nest. Next up, we have Ellis Brooklyn's Fable. So this was actually influenced by um, Andrea Renee. A couple of these were two of the fragrances that I got are from her, are from um, by her recommendation, the Ellis Brooklyn Fable and the Ellis Brooklyn Sunfruit. Mena also recommended these, and I will say. They are very distinct, but yet different scents. The Ellis Brooklyn Fable um, is more of a clean, spring, airy, lightweight scent. The Ellis Brooklyn Sunfruit is sweet. It kind of honestly reminds me of, I can't remember the name of the brand, but it reminds me of a, um, uh, like a, a hair shampoo conditioner, like, like passion fruit and guava, like, that's what I get when I when I when I put this on. Um, I love this. I can't wait to wear this for the spring and the summer season. I will add, definitely add this to my collection of like rotating it out for the next couple months. But these two by Ellis Brooklyn are hands down some really 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 good scents, and I actually like this line a lot. Really affordable, um, and they have some really nice notes. And I think if you're interested in kind of building up your fragrance collection, you might want to check these out. The next fragrance I got was, this is by, um, this is a new brand to me, Floral Street. I honestly bought it for the packaging. So this is the box that it comes in. This is the Floral Street uh, Wild Vanilla Orchid. As you can see, it's giving warm, it's giving sweet, it's giving a little bit of musk. I've been really into like musky, but warm, sweet scents, like very sultry, very womanly, very, very grown, very sexy scents. So I also picked this one up and um, it's it's been nice. It's strong, um, I, it does last. It's very strong so far to me. I think you don't really need anything else with it. It's a very, very strong scent. So low on it. Yes, hi. Okay, getting into some skin boy. Getting into some skincare, I actually picked up the Supergoop Daily Dose um, sunscreen. What I like about this is that it's oil based, so not a cream base at all. Um, I put a couple of drops on um, right after I finish my skincare routine before I apply any makeup, or I just wear sunscreen without anything add, added on to it. I really, really have been enjoying this. I wish it came in a, it might come in a bigger size. If it doesn't, I'm gonna buy the bigger size because I think the liquid sunscreen is my is my way for like the season. It's something about just oil versus like a cream base. And sometimes I get some white cast depending on the sunscreen that I'm using, but I have, I really have enjoyed this and it's, it's, it's good. It's a good sunscreen and has SPF 40 in it. So you have that one. The next skincare thing I got, I'm not sure if you all knew, but Winnie Harlow came out with a skincare line. So I picked up her moisturizer, well, one of her moisturizers. This is the Universal Mineral Face Lotion. Um, this is SPF 55. And you can see from the packaging, it's really, um, it's really small. It's about, how many ounces was this? 1.7 fluid ounces. So definitely a travel size. I don't think she had anything bigger. I'll double check, but, um, yeah, I, I really have been enjoying it. I Now, I will tell you this. When I applied it, when I apply it on my face, I do get a cast, like a little bit of a white cast. But I just keep massaging it into the skin. I keep massaging it all over my face and on my neck. And honestly, the cast is gone. But I put this on and then I top it off with the super goop. So I'm getting just a full face of SPF 
for protection. The next thing I got from her is she came out with a lip balm. This has SPF 30 in it. So clearly there's a theme. We're getting into the warmer months. You wanna be wearing sunscreen year round, but you definitely wanna be wearing sunscreen in the spring and the summer. People of color, melanated women, like we need sunscreen. So don't, don't be out here, okay? Put sunscreen on your face and your neck and your lips. So this is the K-Skin um, moisturizer, if it would focus, there you go. This is the K-Skin moisturizer. It has the same application top as Summer Fridays. You know, they redid theirs. And it also kind of smells like theirs. So I will say when I do put this on, I get a little bit of a tingle on my lips. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but when I put it on, my lips look like a slight tingle. But I figured it's working, so I, I don't question it. Other skincare things. I picked up the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. I've been looking for a new exfoliant. One, I'm running low on the one I have. And two, I've been having um, some really dry patches right here under my eye and my T-zone area. And so I need a good exfoliant to like get that stuff off my face so i've heard great reviews but i wanted to get the mini size just to kind of test it out see how i feel so i haven't used it yet but i'll do a, i'll do an updated video just to show you kind of like what skincare products i'm using um if you have dry skin like me if you have um similar texture issues that i i do stumble across sometimes i'll let you guys know and i believe if i'm not mistaken it's a powder it's a rice based powder so what you do is You'll take some of the powder you poured in your hand, you add water, and then it becomes like a scrub, and then you apply all over your face. So I'm excited to try that. And then the last skincare thing I got was technically not skincare, but body care. It is the Fenty Skin um, Hydra Reset Hand Lotion. Y'all, listen. One of my worst fears as a dark skinned chocolate woman is to be ashy. It is what it is. I have always had this irrational fear of me walking out and I'm in public and my hands are gray and my teeth are like, yeah, like I just have this fear of like looking super crusty. And so I'm always, always, I will always have uh, lotion on deck. Anyone that knows me knows I keep lotion in my car, in my all my purses, at my desk, by my bedroom and by my bedside in the bathroom. Like I keep lotion at the, you know, kitchen sink. Like I keep lotion and, and hand lotion around all the time. So um, this one has been really cool. The cool thing about it is the applicator. So once you open it, you can tell like this is the um, application and then you just kind of like squeeze out. And then that's, that's what it does. It's almost like a hair mask, uh, excuse me, a hand mask, but it's thick y'all, that's for sure. And that's the shine, you know, like, see, ash wear, ash wear, okay. Where's the ash? You can't find her. We can't find her. I will keep you guys updated, but I really do like it. Um, it's thick and it holds, and I really don't find myself re-layering re and reapplying throughout the day. Uh, maybe once or twice, depending if like, I wash my hands after you know eating or using the restroom or something. But like, if I'm just if I'm just like in life and just doing things, and like I really don't have to reapply if I don't want to. It's also not uh, watery and it's not greasy but it is slick like i i hope that makes sense but it's very slick but it's not greasy if that makes sense and lastly um you guys know that the milk hydro grip primer is one of my favorites onyx i need you to right here bubba right okay okay and hydro grip is one of my favorite primers i just got it in the bigger size normally boy uh pizza go play Okay, I got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and just a, full, a fuller size. I probably should've got the Jumbo, but um, I was like, I don't need it. I even get, it takes me a while to get through the mini size, so I figured just going up one size is better. I love this primer, you guys know. Um, now, I did pick up a new, a couple of other primers. However, um, this is my my home base. I stick to the I stick to what I know. So the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, um, it's really good. If you haven't tried to get the mini, the mini lasts me a long time. A little goes a very long way, so I don't end up needing a lot, a lot, but yeah. Other than that, I got a couple of like, you know, sample perfume things, but that is really all I got from Sephora. I did really good this year or this spring. They have one, another sale in the fall and I'll probably go crazy then because it's close to the holiday season, but yeah so i just want to show you guys what i got let me know if you tr if you have any of the items that i picked up let me know in the comments would you get anything that i purchased are you how you feeling about the scents 
how you feeling about everything that I put. I didn't get a lot because I don't actually need a lot and I'm really working to not excessively spend when I don't need to. Like I wanna go through all my products before I buy up again. Um, but these things were calling me and I was like, I'm gonna answer. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Comment below and let me know. As always, Onyx is making noise in the background. He doesn't respect my filming time. So until next time, friends, be well, do well, and be safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey. Onyx. Yes. Yes, Bubba. I need to finish. Okay, you don't care. Yeah. I need to finish. Can I finish? Can I finish? Okay. <laughs> Aggressive?